Hello once again, my fellow Slime Hunters. So, we already talked about the changes to Spell Magician, or <laughs> more or less just put out the Spell Magician guide. Uh, now, let's talk Orb Master. So, the Orb Master is going to be your very basic attack heavy character. Uh, same unique passives. So, for skill 1, definitely going to want to max out uh, Thunderbolts. Um, this is a class that you don't really need to max out any other skills really other than thunderbolts again as always experienced adventurer focused attack uh fatal power with standing power or blessing uh piercing damage focus uh, but you don't really need any of these skills here because this class focuses very heavily on basic attacks and what happens is um once you get to the fourth skill tree, you get Lightning Mastery. And what that does is it enhances the first skill, Thunderbolt, by 2,300% and has a 100% chance to activate it uh, every time you basic attack. So we'll take a look at that now. All right, you see how that looks. And the range uh, is definitely bigger with when you have more range on your character. Uh, but yeah, that is basically what this class does a uh, really good farmer i'd say but anyway let's get back to the skills so you have the orb awakening that increases the maximum damage maximum spear now the initial target that you hit gets dealt an extra 9200 percent magical damage um we are talking about lightning mastery so this this and this limit amplification got reworked it now gives you uh, skill damage um, as or I could be wrong on that but uh, this skill definitely got touched a little bit they got rid of audios so from my understanding the reason they did so is because it was way too broken um, which I didn't even know <laughs> I mean I knew the orb master was good um, but that's neither here nor there we're talking about now so now we got this new skill skill called arcane storm and reinforced orb so arcane storm it releases, you know, lightning on the highest HP target. Ni really nice boss uh, damage skill. It deals uh, magic damage equal to 8,800%, 8, ignores 70% uh, monster defense, and increase, and the skill's damage is increased up to 100% in proportion to the enemy's lost health. So the less health the enemy has, the more damage this skill is going to do. So let's take a look at what this skill does real quick. Uh, really, really cool looking. Honestly, I just from the way it looks, I prefer this more than what we had before because the the thing we had before didn't it didn't at least it didn't seem like it wasn't doing anything, but it was doing a lot. But anyway, this has the potential to do crazy amounts of damage. I, I just really I just really like the way that looks. Um, because check this out, right? You got the arcane storm, which is great. No. <laughs> Oh, wait, what about the additional skill? Because they had to get rid of Adios, right? Well, what did they replace it with? Check this out. Upon basic attack, you get a 15% chance to automatically cast Arcane Storm. And Arcane Storm will additionally, additionally deal 300% more damage and increases by 20% up to 100% each time Arcane Storm hits the same target within 3 seconds. So that's a pretty pretty insane for boss killing. Like it's it's <laughs> it's gonna be good. Like people were like, oh man, it's gonna get nerfed into the ground. Nah, Orb Master is gonna be really good this patch. Uh so something that is also new is the reinforced orb. So what this does is all area basic attack effects do not activate, but change to a single target effect for 12 seconds. It increases the basic attack skills by twelve hundred percent. Thunderbolt cannot be used manually while Reinforced Orb is on. However, it can be activated by Lightning Mastery, which we have Lightning Mastery. So, you wouldn't even have the uh, that skill on your bar anyway because it's being activated by Lightning Mastery. But let's take a look at what that does. So, there we go. Let's activate that now. So, as you can see, it's only hitting one target at a time do that and this skill um this is one of those skills where you're gonna want to take on and off 
uh, because you definitely won't be able to farm in the field with that skill on. So I, I definitely recommend taking off that skill uh, when you are farming in the field. Put it on when you're a T-Well and or dungeon farming. Probably not dungeon farming because you do have to go through a slew of enemies. Um, you would also have to go through a slew of enemies with T-Well too. Um, but it's, it's basically up to you really. I just want to put it on during the field. I don't even know if I'm going to put it on for those two farmings in particular. Uh, however, it does increase your basic attack damage, your single target damage um, exponentially. And um, yeah, as always, the Orb Master is going to have a spell damage set, um, which is really nice. And um, if you get a Zeus Orb on this bad boy, um, this class if you're one-shotting enemies, tends to just stand there and just continue one-shotting. So it's pretty fast, really efficient farmer. Um, really cool skills. I mean, it's basically... <laughs> you're basically like a lightning mage, like hardcore lightning mage. Let's go ahead and take that, uh, take that skill off there. And honestly, you don't even need... When you get to the point where you have... Um, extreme reinforcement arcane storm you will no longer need arcane storm on your bar because it just constantly activates um and yeah that's pretty much it for the orb master i mean i i hope this guide helped and um you guys have a wonderful day